Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on websites like eBay and Poshmark. You can find me on Instagram as Alducha Thrift. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the button down below and give me a thumbs up before you leave today. All right, I'm back today with a Goodwill Bins outlet haul for you. I went actually two times last week and I combined those trips into showing you one big haul. So I thought that would be fun. If you're not familiar with the Goodwill outlet, it is a pay by the pound Goodwill location. Uh, the pricing varies at my location. I have my receipts here, but in general, it's about $1.99 a pound for some of the items. I think I paid as low as 49 cents just because the cashier wanted to ring everything up separately and categorized a few items as books. They're not totally books, but I don't, I, I'm not the one who does the pricing. So there's that. My grand total for my two trips, I got 32.2 pounds total and I spent $62.57. So let me show you everything I got. I did get some accessories. I got some shoes and I got some clothing. If you are not interested in seeing shoes or accessories, yeah, just go down to the description. I will put the minute markers chapters, whatever they call it, down below so you can skip ahead if you'd like. First item, because it's closest to me, is this aloe hat, and it's a little misshapen from being in my bag. <laughs> but this, I didn't notice it till I actually got it home that it didn't look so great. There was just a lot of staining on the inside and the outside as well. And so what I ended up doing is I used the my grandma's stain remover product, which I'll, anything I talk about, I'll put in the description down below if you're curious to look at it. But anyways, that's the stain remover that I prefer to use. And it actually got a lot of the yellowing that was on the inside brim and the outside everywhere basically. And I let that sit and soak. And then I put it through the washer and I washed it with the Pearwall product. There's a Pearwall product that I talk about quite frequently. Um, it's the one for black garments. But anyways, I use the white bottle and that is for white garments and it's for helping to lighten them. It's not a bleach, but anyways, that is what I used and it brought it back to a nice white color. So yeah, excited about that because I like selling that brand. Okay, next item is not aloe, <laughs> but it is a hat. And you may recognize whose hat this is. If you're not looking up, do so now. It's Indiana Jones hat. So if you look on the inside here, it does say Indiana Jones. And then on the inside brim, it also says Indiana Jones right there. In terms of any other tags, I didn't see any, but I'll be honest, I haven't looked that hard. This is a vintage hat from the 90s. And I think there's a new movie coming out. So what perfect timing. But anyways, the <laughs> comps on this, I saw that one had previously sold for $35. So yeah. $35 hopefully is what I can get for it. You know, it's slightly misshapen, maybe. I don't know, somebody could reshape it if they want. But yeah, I like picking up vintage Disney items at the bins. Even some modern items can go for quite a bit of money. I'm gonna pick up my bag here. Okay, I got my big blue Ikea bags. Love these, if you don't have them, it's definitely a reason to go to Ikea. Okay, this one is probably just gonna be for me, but I couldn't leave it behind. A shopping cart, who doesn't want a shopping cart? I don't know what this store is, it says BDNA. This does need to be Clorox wiped. I have not done it, I don't think, to anything in this bag, so some of this might be dusty. I did pick up this woven basket. I, I think it's probably going to be more of like a wall hanging piece. I just thought it looked really cool. I purchased baskets or woven pieces like this in the past and they're actually not cheap when you buy them retail. So yeah, if I could get like 30 for this, I'd be pleased. We'll set that to the side. Okay. Next item is, <laughs> okay. I got some weird stuff. You guys have to bear with me. This is a Crabtree and Evelyn soap. I haven't even looked at it. I think it's new, but yeah, it is. It's still wrapped in the tissue. Some older products, I'm like, is it new, new? Yeah, it looks new, new. Some older bath and body products can be worth some money just because they're not in production anymore. I'll be honest, I didn't look this one up. Oh, it smells really nice. Maybe I'll keep that for me. The scent is Freesia. So anyways, the box just definitely looked older. So I will comp that and look it up. 
I also grabbed this. I don't know if I should have. Yeah, I don't know if I should have. So this is now, if we're talking about soaps, this is more modern. This is the brand Viore, and they make a hand-held shampoo and conditioner bar. I only know because I have some of this at home, but I don't know if this one's been used. It doesn't look like it. To my credit, it doesn't look like it, but I'll look it up. Offhand, I think those retail for between 10 to $20 for a bar of soaps, so yeah. Next item is what I believe are a pair of vintage sunglasses. So here they are. It's kind of hard to see, but there are rhinestones all around. And this reminds me of, I don't know, like the girls who would wear the poodle skirts. Anyway, they're super fun. There were two pairs that I actually found at the same time. This pair looked vintage, the other pair did not. There are some markings on the inside here, but it's really, really, really hard to read. Well, I can read it a little bit, but just due to the age, there is a little bit of yellowing on the plastic sides of these glasses. I'm almost wondering if I could take a magic eraser to this and just lightly rub on it and see if some of the yellowing would come off. If you know a different tactic for reviving these, let me know. Or if you also don't think they're vintage, let me know. So there's that. Okay. Next, what do I want to show you next? Um, there's just some weird odds and ends in here. I'm, I'm hesitant to what I should show you. Okay, next is this item, Boots and Saddles. It's some sort of game. It says Air Cavalry in the 80s. Well, I did look it up and sold were kind of all over the place. I saw one as low as $35. And then I saw another one that was upwards as 100 but that one may have had two packs. Mine has only this pack. So I'll list it if I could get 30 to 35 again that is a price I am okay with. Okay, next, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this for me or I think it's unused. So maybe I'll sell it. Adult Mad Libs. <laughs> I just thought this was funny. It does look like it has an older Urban Outfitters price sticker on there. And you can tell the sides of the page is kind of yellowed over time. So I, I don't wanna call this like vintage because I hate to think anything from Urban Outfitters is vintage, but it's been around since I was in high school and I'm technically vintage. I was trying to see if there was a print date on the inside. Oh yeah, here we go, copyright 2005. So we're just two years shy of declaring this vintage, but darn near. So anyways, thought that was fun. Um, oh, I did grab these. These are free people shopper bags. I don't believe they make these anymore, but somebody let me know. Maybe they still do. People like buying these if you can lot them up, you know, if you can eventually get, you know, 10 or 20 of them at a time, people will buy them in a lot. I've sold them on eBay and on Poshmark. I found this Jansport purple, oh gosh, don't fall, crossbody bag. Well, a fanny pack to me, that's what we call, <laughs> this is a fanny pack for me. But anyways, uh, yeah, crossbody slash fanny pack bags are really popular right now. So when I see them, I do grab them when they're in nice condition. And of course, I'm gonna grab Jansport. Okay, next is this little notebook and I just couldn't leave it behind. It's so cute. It says it's a dog's life and it is unused to my knowledge. It's got the little docs in there. It's a original price tag there of $12.99. The brand is Molly and Rex. And what's fun is that, oh, I thought there was different dogs on every page. No, there's just different dogs on the inside cover. So I will wipe that down. Maybe I'll keep it for myself, maybe I won't. I did find, somebody had made these like little gift bags and then had donated some of them. And so they were still sealed. I opened them up and they had like a little ducky in there. There was a Kinder Bar, even though it was sealed and not expired. I was like, no, thank you. I, it's been at the bins now. <laughs> I can't do anything about that. But I did see that they had a pack of Mighty Patch in there. And if you don't know what these are, then your skin must be amazing. But you put these over when you have like a little zit and they are, it's like a clear little zit patch. Um, so yeah, I do use these. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take this for moi. And then somebody else could take the Kinder Bar. Okay, the next item, <laughs> this guy is looking real rough. I need to wipe him down or her down. So this is Scooby D. 
So if that sounds familiar, you should probably look up because that's your generation. So there was Scooby-Doo, Scooby, I forget the other one, and then there's Scooby-D. And I think Scooby-D was a girl. And so this says copyright 19, 1977 down there. And this is what they call a push puppet. So you push the bottom and it kind of dances and does stuff like that. In terms of comps, uh, I couldn't really find any. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It just means that somebody else wasn't selling it right now. I'm pretty sure I couldn't find cops, but I need to look again because I think I just looked on my phone and I didn't look at Terapeak. I just looked through sold items in the past, whatever it is, the historical on the eBay app. So yeah, I don't know what comps will look like on this. I mean, obviously again, that $30 price range, I would be happy with that, but I'm not sure if that's what it'll be. Okay, I do have a few shoes in here and then there's a few more accessories in there, but whatever, we'll just, we'll kind of mix stuff up. Oh, I forgot, I was gonna show you this one. This is like a little cosmetic bag here. The tag is kind of hanging out. I, I'll be honest, I grabbed this and I forgot to comp it, so and it mysteriously just came home with me, but the brand is called Prune. I'm not familiar with it. It felt like a nice leather, so that's initially why I grabbed it. I just did look up comps right now, and yeah, I think I'll probably be able to get around 20 to $30 for this, maybe more, but honestly, I don't know enough about the brand, so yeah, probably 20 to 30 is where I'm gonna be happy at. Okay, next item is there is another one but i'll just show you this one it's a pair of adidas what superstar no nope. something just fell behind you <laughs> adidas superstar shoes and obviously these are meant for a toddler they remind me of like what my cabbage patch doll used to wear but anyways this is a size 7k again i think that's i mean kids but like toddler yeah so anyway i'll clean these up they just need a little bit of magic eraser on them but otherwise i think that they'll turn out pretty nicely the bottom unsurprisingly is in pretty darn good condition you know for kids items they just hardly wear it and so there's just no wear usually on the items or not a lot of wear not until they get older around the age of like five maybe but they're still outgrowing stuff pretty quickly at that point Okay, next is a pair of Monroe shoes. So this brand, Monroe, M-U-N-R-O, that's what it looks like there, does retail for quite a bit of money. So resale is still pretty solid on these. I actually think I've sent Monroe to the real real before. These look to be in pretty good condition. So it is a patent leather here, and there is some scuffing here on the back. I'll try and use either my magic eraser or just a Clorox wipe on these. The footbed on these doesn't look too bad. I could probably use like my suede brush or just like a light brush on here to kind of clean them up. And then the bottoms actually, once again, look pretty nice. The tread on here is not very worn, especially on that heel and that front toe bed. It looks pretty good. So pleased with these. And what size are they? I'll let you know. Um, what size are they? <laughs> I have no idea. It's I'm filming this kind of early in the morning, so I'm like 90% awake, guys. I won't lie. I have no idea. If you're curious about them, reach out to me. And hopefully by then I will have figured out the size. I don't know where they print print Monroe sizing. Okay, let's grab the other bag. Alright, the other bag here. Oh gosh, stuff is starting to fall. Okay. Piece of paper. Set that over there. All right, this is a pair of self-adhesive laminating sheets. It's so funny when you see stuff at the bins that you're like, oh man, I paid like full price for that. So I don't need any more of these because now I have a ton of them. I purchased them long ago for myself. But anyways, uh, these are sealed. I know I knew if I was buying them, then other people probably were as well. So yeah, and they're sealed in package. I couldn't pass that up. Okay, next item. Oh, and in terms of resale, I listed them both together and I listed them for like 20 bucks or something. I mean, it was just super easy for me to photograph and blah, blah, blah. Okay, Brita filters. This box is sealed, has never been opened. So I was like, heck yeah, I'll buy those. In terms of resale on these, I can't remember what I priced them at. I wanna say like 30, does that sound right? So yeah. Uh, you know, if stuff is sealed in package and it appears to be worth my time, this hair sticking out is gonna bug me. 
Okay, well, that's not gonna stay down. Uh, <laughs> then I'll grab it. Okay, this was so cute, fun summer hat. I kinda wanna keep it for myself, but I, my skull is rather large and I don't know if it'll fit me, but it is a, just a paper hat, fun for summer. These are great because you can just kind of fold them up pretty easily and take them on a vacation with you. Okay, next is some more shoes. So these are a pair of, where's the tag? Patagonia boots. So I was excited to see these and surprised that nobody had grabbed them. Yeah, because they had been sitting in a bin for a little bit. Um, the bottoms look really good. Like these don't look like they were used that many times, if at all, maybe once. So that just right there needs to be cleaned up. And then in terms of the rest of the boot, there is some discoloration here on the side. I can work on it a little bit. I don't wanna like mess them up. So I'm hesitant to like do too much to them. But yeah, anyways, you know, they are a quilted boot. So kind of intended for colder weather, but it'll be cold eventually. Okay, other pair of shoes that I grabbed, these are kind of beat, but whatever. <laughs> They're a pair of Birkenstocks. I watched a video recently on TikTok of somebody cleaning a pair of Birkenstocks and it all of a sudden emboldened me. So <sighs> we'll see what I can do. Uh, they are a size 38. Other than obviously there's just footwear here. The bottoms look, I'm gonna give them a six or seven out of 10. The tread is starting to wear here at the back. The front, not so much. And then just those just need to be cleaned there. But otherwise, I don't know. I think they're in okay condition. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Maybe it was a good purchase, maybe it wasn't. Okay, next pair of shoes I wanna show you is this pair of Natives. I actually already cleaned these at home, so they're looking real nice right now. Uh, but they're just a pair of kids' Native shoes. These are a child 13, so a smaller kid, obviously but just this fun bright yellow and they're in great condition. You can see the heel and the toe looks really good. Those are just usually an easy flip for me, especially around this time of the year during summer because it is a great water shoe and those are very lightweight in terms of, you know, purchasing them at the bins. So I can probably sell those for between 20, $25. Okay, next is a pair of coat shoes. Obviously there's the other, the other ones in here as well. I totally had these shoes back in, I think like 2002. So it was a little jog down memory lane seeing these. Uh, they do need to be like stuffed with some paper when I take the pictures of them because they're just kind of sagging a little bit. But otherwise they actually look to be in pretty good condition. There is some shedding on the suede here, but I could take a flame to it, as crazy as that sounds, and that will burn off all of the suede shedding. I've done a video on this before with my friend Liz where we burned the suede. <laughs> it made it look a lot nicer. The bottoms look really good. Again, if these shoes are as old as I am or <laughs> from the time period that I remember them from, this is actually not so bad in terms of wear on the bottom. And sizing is a seven and a half. I'm curious if these are a men's because they say for the style name, it says Jason, seven and a half men's. So that is going to lead me to think that it's maybe a men's. Okay, I grabbed another pair of coat shoes and yeah, it's just a pair of loafers. The style is the Frida. It's a size 6B and you know, they're in pretty good condition. The flaws here is gonna be on the front toe bed. There's just, um, or like tip here. It, there's just wear and that wear does exist on both of the shoes. So yeah, I'll just have to price accordingly for that. Okay, let's move on to the clothing. My hands, I feel like I need a baby wipe. Pardon me getting in your face. I always buy <laughs> baby wipe. It doesn't matter what brand. These ones are Pampers. I buy whatever's cheapest, usually on like Amazon Prime or if I'm at the store, whichever's cheapest. These are great to just have on hand, I'll keep them in my car for after the bins or even just here at the warehouse if I just kind of need a quick wipe. They're not necessarily disinfecting, um, but that's actually good. I'm not looking to wipe my hands on a Lysol wipe. My skin's just really sensitive and it usually tears apart my fingers when I use those. So I just use a baby wipe. 
Okay, rambling over, let's get started on the clothes. So this first item is actually inside out, so let me just flip it real quick. It is a free people blouse, as I <laughs> attempt to show you. It's this dusty purple, it's really pretty, and it's a size small, so let me hold it up for you. Real cute boho style. It does have this front tie here, which is, I don't know, whatever, you get it. You get the idea, there's like this front tie and it's clearly like pulled through there just because of the way that I grabbed it. Mm, it smells really nice. I washed all this stuff, so yeah. There's that, there's my first item I have to show you. The next item I have to show you is this Michael Kors bathing suit. So this is actually new without tags. I saw it in the bins. It had the sanitary liner on the inside here. It's in really nice condition. It does just need like a little lint roll, but perfect time of the year for a swimsuit. This is a size eight. I do have another new with tags item here, and this is a Madewell tank top, yeah ribbed it's ivory it's a size 3x so i always enjoy finding plus size pieces and yeah there's that i don't know what else to tell you about it it's just a made well tank uh if you're not new to my channel you've heard me talk about this brand before it's called carrots and they make equestrian apparel and so this is a size large i'm guessing women's just given the style of it black vest it is fitted here in the back. So usually I pick up their riding breeches and I don't usually grab, well, I've never seen for the most part, I think tops from this brand, but I comped it and it looked pretty good, which the breeches usually get me about 30 to $60, just depending. And I think that one was probably around 30 or more. Okay, next piece I have is a North Face t-shirt. It's a size medium. You know, nothing too special, but I thought the print was really pretty. It's kind of like dandelions. And yeah, people are gonna be looking for outdoorsy pieces for summer. Next is a pair of Hudson jeans. I'm always like wondering like what brands are people still wearing? Do they still wear Hudson? And I think people do. So this is a size 26 and it's the Krista ankle, super skinny with a raw hem. So here you can see it's this fun army green color. It's got the distressing there. It's got the raw hem down there. Yeah. Next I've got, I think this is Maeve. Yeah. It's the brand Maeve from Anthropology. It's a size extra large P, so petite. Just this cute little green polka dot dress. It does have a little bit of color fading here. I did use the pear wall. I used the red bottle, I think, on this. So it did restore some of the color. I think I used it on here. But anyways, just a fun little, little green dress. Next, I think this is another Anthro piece. Yeah, this is the brand Lilka. And it's a size small, and I think it's a romper. But anyways, I just thought it was a cute piece for summer. It buttons down the front here. I think there's actually maybe a little bit of a tear there. Uh, it's not full on. Mm, no, because it's supposed to be open there. Just some loose threading, actually. But yeah, fun. It's got pockets, lightweight, nice summer piece. Okay, this, I, <laughs> the child in me was so excited to see this. It's a Sailor Moon dress. Here it is. Does it have pockets? No, I don't think it does. Um, I did wash this in the pear wall, so that black is really beautiful and popping. But it's a size small. It is missing the button back here, so I just need to sew a button back on the back there, and then it'll be good to go. But I didn't pass up a piece like this because, you know, there's always like cosplay or whatever that sort of stuff is um, that people like dressing up for. So dresses like this, Disney dresses, can oftentimes go for more money than you think. So I'm gonna set that to the side because we need to sew the button. All right, next I have this smart wool top. I believe it's a men's size medium and it does have some fading, which I'm not sure if you can tell here, but it's maybe in the, I was gonna say the pits. Anyways, I don't know where it is and it's kind of hard to tell on here, but I still grabbed it because as I said before in my videos, for a lot of these base layer pieces for nice brands like Smartwool, Ibex, etc., 
even if it has some holes or color fading, people still buy it because it's going to be a layer underneath their athletic wear. So it's just not a deal breaker for them. All right, next piece I have is from the brand Prairie Underground. Gosh, I haven't sold a Prairie Underground piece in a while, but it used to sell well for me and for an, a decent price. It's a size extra small. It is made here in Seattle and it's just this kind of long tunic. I don't think it's a dress, but maybe it's a dress. Extra small, long sleeve, ribbed tunic dress, shirt tunic. One of the two. <laughs> Next is the brand Michael Stars for Anthropology. There is the tag. Size medium, large. Gosh, I remember when Michael Stars, like 20 years ago, was such a popular brand. Glad to see it's still existing in some capacity today. Boat neck top with three quarter sleeve. Uh, generally, Michael Stars pieces kind of have this shiny or shimmery coloring to them. I'm sure there's like a story behind that. And I just don't know. Next is a Spanx camp. What do, I don't know, what do we want to call this? Size medium camisole under piece shapewear. There we go. Um, so just be mindful of the Spanx that you're buying. There are diffusion lines of Spanx that have been sold at Target and other places like that. Not that that can't like assets. That's what they call it. If it's at, excuse me, if it's at Target, it's called assets. If it's called, or if it's sold at Nordstrom or whatever, it's gonna be called Spanx. Okay, Bonobos. So this brand, it's a men's brand. I think they were known for making custom shirts at some point when they first started. I believe they got bought out by Walmart in the past few years. This is a size medium men's bomber jacket. There is a little bit of discoloration here on the chest right there as well. Um, I did wash this. So I'll just disclose that flaw, but yeah, I don't know. They can figure it out. They can do what they want with it. <laughs> okay, next is a Madewell skirt. So here it is. This I actually washed, it's got pockets. It's a size extra small. There is a small discoloration right there. I don't know, I stain treated it twice and it's still there. So I don't know what to do at this point other than I'll just disclose the flaw. Okay, next is this cute Tommy Bahama dress cover up thing, but I don't know. I gotta get my friend Liz to look at this because I think when I washed it, look what I did. <laughs> Oops, yeah, <laughs> stretched out some of the yarn. I don't know what this would be. So I don't know. I don't know if it can be like re-stretched into place, but I'll have to figure that out. Okay, next is the a bra. <laughs> Here it is. It's from the brand Freya, which I feel like 99.9% .9 sure I've sold this brand before and it sold for a good amount. I do like selling bras when I can find them. This one is a 34 triple D, which is going to be a desirable size. The smaller the band and the bigger the cup size, I find is what people are looking for. This is really pretty actually. Look at that, isn't that a lovely bra? So cute. Put that over there. I know there's another bra in here too because I feel like I picked up two bras in the same day. Okay, another new with tag piece. This is from J. Crew Outlet. How you can tell is you're gonna see those two little dots underneath the J. Crew logo there. This is a size medium and the price tag says $79.50 and it's just this polka dot midi pencil -y kind of pencil, I don't know, it's not tight skirt. I couldn't pass it up, new attacks. Speaking of, another new attacks piece, the brand Black Milk. So they make leggings and I haven't found Black Milk in, gosh, I don't even know how long, but it was new attacks, so yeah, I grabbed it. Size small and I don't even know what this print is. You can tell me, whatever you think that print is, it's fun. Okay, next I have a dress from the brand Sundance. I haven't picked this brand up in quite some time and ugh, it's all, you're gonna have to use your imagination because it's got this, okay, maybe I should just unbutton. Yeah, it has um, the little slip dress that comes inside of it, but it got wound up when I washed it. <laughs> 
it's this really pretty, once I eventually show it to you, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here it is, emerald green, kind of boho style dress. Look at this, isn't this fun? And it's a maxi length, I guess it's a maxi length. It's real cute, kind of reminds me of Johnny Was a little bit, minus any fun prints on here. And then here is the, uh, what's it called? Slip that goes underneath it. But what did I want to tell you? Oh, Sundance is a catalog brand and sometimes people are looking for catalog brands. So, you know, just run your comps. Not every catalog brand is going to be as popular as others, but that's okay. Okay, another bra. <laughs> so this is the brand, I think it's Chantel. Chantel, I don't know how we pronounce it, but it is a size 38 D, 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 D. Yeah, so quad D, because I'm like triple D, so they call it a quad D. Whatever it is, here it is. <laughs> and I have sold this brand before. I've received it in Nordstrom Palette, so that in itself led me to know that it was worth picking up. Also, prior experience. Okay, this is a brand that I don't necessarily pick up regularly, but I just thought this dress was really cute and I couldn't leave it behind. It is Ann Taylor Loft and it's a size medium and it's just this really fun print. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It goes all the way down. I would say it's fitted, like kind of like a bodycon style dress. It's ribbed, I don't know. It just reminded me of like a little bit of 90s kind of I don't know do you get it do you see the vision does that make sense to you okay this I you know I don't always pick up J Crew pieces this one is not new with tags it's a size medium it's also from the outlet but I love hot pink it's just one of my favorite color I love pink and so I remember this line they did of these neon pink styles and yeah I just couldn't help myself I think it's like a little mini dress swim cover up type thing so yeah will it sell for a lot of money i don't know did i grab it because i just couldn't help myself yeah i did so okay next item is i think this is a lulu's dress yeah i've been finding so much lulu's recently maybe a lulu's store opened or something um it's a size large but i just thought it was a really cute tropical fun you know, summer dress, maybe. It's kind of long sleeve, so I don't know for summer, but it is lightweight. I'm trying to like reason in my head how it makes sense. Next is a pair of leggings from the brand, brand Prana, and these are a size medium. Here they are, kind of a pebbly rock print. Um, they're in pretty good condition. The crotch checked out, not too much, not any pilling actually. I don't have to do anything to them other than wash them. They're in nice condition. I don't know what else to say. Next is uh, from Athleta. And it's funny because here it is, size large, Athleta. I found the bottoms. I feel like I found the matching bottoms for these last week because they're like fleece lined. And this week I found the top. So they do have the kangaroo pocket in the front with the little mock turtleneck there. And what else do we have here? Oh, this is from the brand Ex Officio. I don't pick up everything Ex Officio, but this one is in nice condition. I did wash it with the pear wall, so the coloring is really nice here. Really brought like the rich black color out again. Um, Ex Officio, I feel like, don't they make like travel apparel or something like that? So just be, you know, discerning when you're picking up pieces on what you want to grab. Okay, did these clean up nicely? I think they did. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to see. Okay, so these are a pair of pants from the brand Athleta. They're a size 4P. They're the stone color with the paper bag waist. Now at the bins, nobody wanted to grab them. I later saw, once I was home, that um, there was a big stain in the crotch area. Um, but I took it home and I used the grandma stain remover. I sprayed it and it came out nicely. What didn't come out nicely is like a very faint pen marking there. So, you know, one out of two ain't bad. I'll still sell it. All right, and then I have a pair of pants from the brand Community, which I believe this is sold at Aritzia. These are size extra small, black 
linen pant with the kind of like a jogger pant in a way because it's got the fitted ankle there cute i always pick up aritzia when i see it or aritzia brands uh last but not least i'm like right is the shirt that i need to finish air drying <laughs> it's from all saints it's a size medium i washed this like a billion times and i still can't tell if the discoloration is gone basically the pits were kind of yellow which maybe you can tell i can't tell but anyways i think this is a men's shirt I washed this a billion times, but I think I finally got it out. We'll find out once I get it under my big bright lights, we'll be able to tell a little bit more. But otherwise that's it guys. I'm like, whoa, is that my whole haul? I feel like it went quick. And then I also feel like I'm surrounded by a million things right now. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.